Oh, pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel. Just a quick video uh, today, done with the Tango 2, uh, as he picks it up. Uh, I've got a, a comment, and I'm not going to try, I'm not going to, I'm not going to insult the bloke by trying to uh, pronounce his name, so I'll just put it up somewhere. Basically asking me how to set up a, mom, a momentary arm switch for the Tango 2. Right, like on here, my arm button is here. That's my arm switch. Just press that button down. Apparently, his was on that side, but he wanted to use one of these back momentary switches. These press button switches to use as a pre arm. So, in other words, hold one down, then press your arm switch to arm your quad. Pre arming. Right, so I said I'd knock up a quick video, right, because it is simple. So uh, let's get straight to it. First of all, uh, let's show you what you have to do on the transmitter on the Tango 2, and I'll show you what you have to do on Beta Flight, and it's quite straightforward and simple. So, uh, as I like to say, roll BT. Okay, then you turn your Tango 2 on, speaks for itself, click your menu button, and page up. And you're looking for your mixer screen, which I believe is page 5. Yes, page 5. Then go down to a spare empty channel. We'll use channel 11 for this purpose. Click enter. Now, second one down is source. Click enter on the source. And then all you have to do there is click your momentary switch. I'm using the one on the back right. I've clicked it once, selected it, and then exit. And keep backing out until you're back to your main page. So, went into the uh, mixer, right, found an empty channel, right, went to source, entered on source to get it flashing, and then to select it, all I did was click once on there. Uh, the momentary switch at the back right to select the source and now we jump over to beta flight okay then right we're on beta flight and i'm just gonna plug me quad in uh, come on thank you and it is quite simple first thing you want to do go over to your receiver tab and click on the particular momentary switch you set up which I can't do because I haven't plugged a battery into my quad yet you might, <laughs> I'll leave it running you have to plug a battery into your quad right to power up your transmitter what well, you do in this case right take the props off if you don't want to take the props off that's fine but put a towel or some up over your quad just in case someone spins up and there's a problem right so done that now go into your uh, receiver tab as i just said all right and press that momentary switch that you set up in the mixer which man is ox7 it's coming up okay now i know that ah uh, plunk you down there now just go into your modes tab all right and find the pre arm setting which is where's pre -arm? there pre arm right add range and i know it'll be right at the end so i'll just move that bar first of all all right and we know it was ox 7 even though it's on auto and you can just press the button but we'll do it the old-fashioned way ox 7 so now when i press there you go now that's set up and click save and that's it <laughs> done that is it it's done it's as simple as that and uh there's now else to it so i can't really i'll tell you what i'll do i'll just show you it actually working in uh take like a video you know i was just closing the stuff then i'll i'll just show you it actually working like I said, that was my arm button, but now I've set up a pre arm Okay then, uh, let's just do a quick jump shot to the quad and just show, show you it working, just so you know it does work. Uh, jump shot. 
Okay then, let's just show you it working. Now we'll just plug a battery in. Telemetry recovered. Now, as I said before, this was my pre-arm switch. Well, it wasn't my pre-arm, this was just my arming switch. So, but if we press it now, quad's beeping because something's wrong and if I apply some throttle, it's telling me something's wrong. All right? It's basically telling me you forgot to press your pre-arm you've set. So we set pre-arm to this momentary switch here, so I'll press that. Then I'll press my arm switch, and now as you can see, I'm turning that off again, but as you can see we're all off and running using that pre-arm, and it really is that simple. Okay then, uh, I'm going to leave it there because uh, there's no else to tell you. Telemetry lost, turn you off. Yeah, there's no else to tell you. It really is that simple. Mixer, select a channel, go into beta flight, find your pre arm mode setting, tell it which channel you selected, and you're off. Okay then, uh, pilots and ground crew, I'm going to leave that there and uh, hope this helped you, buddy. And, uh, well, cheers.